Yes, it is real and it's not something out of a horror movie. You can see how easy it would be for a creature like this to power itself away using that siphon. It's actually... Ah! God damn me! This is... Ah! Basking sharks are real-life leviathans and they're the second largest sharks in the world. In this video, we're diving deep into the mysterious depths of the ocean where creatures lurk that'll make you question your sanity. The ocean is a dark and mysterious world where nature has clearly been screwing around and throwing out some very strange sea critters. From the fish with a monastic appearance to the firework jellyfish, we bring you 20 terrifying sea creatures that actually exist. Number 20. Monkfish and its frightening appearance. First up, we're diving into the fascinating world of Lophius, also known as monkfish, fishing frogs, frogfish, and sea devils. These unique creatures belong to the Lophid anglerfish genus and can be found in the Atlantic and Indian Oceans. One striking feature of Lophius is its head. It is large, broad, flat, and depressed, while the rest of its body appears like an appendage. What sets this fish apart is its wide mouth, which encircles the front part of its head. Both jaws are armed with bands of long, pointed teeth that are inclined inward. Interestingly, these teeth can be temporarily depressed, allowing objects to pass through the stomach but preventing their escape from the mouth. This is why humanity is afraid of this creature. With the ability to change its body color to match its surroundings, Lophius has become a master of disguise, expertly concealing itself in chosen hunting grounds. Why does Lophius go through all this trouble to blend in? Well, these cunning predators seek out areas abundant in prey. Their ambush hunting strategy relies on surprising unsuspecting fish and invertebrae that come too close. Once an unaware victim ventures near, Lophius quickly snaps its jaws shut, securing its meal with these formidable teeth. Whether you call it Lophius, the monkfish, fishing frog, or sea devil, this fish showcases remarkable adaptations for survival. Its unique body structure, including the broad depressed head and fringed appendages coupled with the ability to change color, allows it to become practically invisible to prey. Number 19. Halitrephus Massey Jellyfish Get ready to have your mind blown, figuratively of course, by the incredible and hilarious creature known as Halitrephus Massey, aka the Firework Jellyfish. These deep-sea hydrozoan, part of the Halicritidae family, is making waves, pun intended, on the internet. These mesmerizing jellyfish has been spotted lurking in the depths of the ocean, specifically at mind-boggling depths of 1,200 to 1,500 meters near the Rivilla Gigedo Archipelago off the Baja California Peninsula in Mexico. So why the nickname Firework Jellyfish? Well, prepare yourself for a spectacle like none other. When illuminated by the bright lights of research submersibles, this jellyfish puts on a show that would give even the most dazzling fireworks a run for their money. Its mesmerizing tentacles light up in an array of vibrant colors, creating a dazzling display that would make any 4th of July celebrations jealous. It's like a jellyfish disco party down there. Just imagine these translucent creatures floating about, lighting up the deep sea dance floor with their psychedelic glow. Move over, Saturday Night Fever, because the firework jellyfish is here to show off its underwater disco moves. But let's not forget that these creatures are not just all flash and no substance. They play an important role in the ecosystem, capturing prey with their tentacles and serving as a reminder of the wonders that lie beneath the ocean's surface. And if you want to keep up with all the terrifying beasts of the sea, give us a like and subscribe for more content. Number 18. Dragonfish Get ready to meet the ultimate creature of the deep, the mysterious and mesmerizing dragonfish. These remarkable fish may dwell in the depths, but they actually start their lives at the surface of the ocean. How, you ask? Their buoyant eggs keep them afloat until they're ready for their epic deep-sea journey. But what truly sets the dragonfish apart is its ability to produce its own light. Yep, bioluminescence is the name of the game. These fish have mastered the art of illuminating their surroundings, turning the deep-sea abyss into a mesmerizing light show. Move over, Vegas. 
To add to their extraordinary repertoire, dragonfish possesses photophores, special light-producing cells that are scattered throughout their bodies. One particular standout is a photophore found on a barbell attached to their lower jaw. It's believed that this luminous barbell plays a crucial role in hunting, attracting unsuspecting prey with its captivating glow. But the jaw-dropping features don't end there. Dragonfish sport fang-like teeth that would make Dracula green with envy. These teeth are perfectly designed for snatching up prey in the depths of their deep-sea domain. It's like they have their very own built-in fishing rods. Number 17. Frilled Shark Next up, we enter the captivating world of the Frilled Shark. This shark, also known as Clamidos Lacus Anguineus, is like a living time capsule carrying ancient secrets with its eel-like body. And guess what? It's not alone. Its close cousin, the Southern African Frilled Shark, or Clamidos Lacius Africana, joins the party as the only other surviving species in its family. So why is the frilled shark considered a living fossil? Well, its physical traits give us a glimpse into the distant past. Imagine a shark with an eel-like body sporting a dark brown color that sets it apart from the rest. With a length of around 2 meters, this creature truly stands out. Its dorsal, pelvic, and anal fins are positioned closer to the tail, giving it a unique appearance in the shark kingdom. Now here's where things get interesting. Picture six pairs of gill slits along the shark's throat, resembling frills. It's like this shark decided to put on a fancy fashion show underwater. And that's how it earned its fitting name, the Frilled Shark. But let's not forget about the Frilled Shark's jaw-dropping feature, Amphistyle. What on earth is that, you ask? Well, it's a fancy term that describes the way the shark's jaws articulate with its cranium. This primitive trait is a remnant of its ancient lineage and a true testament to its living fossil status. Number 16. Vampire Squid Prepare to be amazed and slightly spooked by the incredible vampire squid, specifically known as Vampira Teuthis Infernalis, or the vampire squid from hell. This mysterious cephalopod may be small, but it dominates the depths of temperate and tropical oceans in extreme deep sea conditions. What sets the vampire squid apart is its remarkable ability to thrive in parts of the ocean with incredibly low oxygen concentrations. How does it do this, you ask? Well, it's equipped with bioluminescent organs that emit a mesmerizing glow, allowing it to navigate and communicate in the darkest depths. The vampire squid also has a unique oxygen metabolism that enables it to survive in these extreme environments. It's like having a built-in scuba tank. This adaptation sets it apart from other cephalopods and showcases its incredible resilience. Now here's where things get really interesting. The vampire squid boasts two long retractile filaments situated between the first two pairs of arms on its dorsal side. These unique features distinguish it from its relatives, such as octopuses and squid squids, and even earned its own name, known as Vampira Morphidia. It's like having a vampire cape, but in filament form. Brace yourself for another mind-blowing fact. The vampire squid is a phylogenetic relict. In other words, it's the sole surviving member of its order, a true one-of-a-kind creature. It's a creature that thrives in the depths of the ocean, defying the odds and leaving us in awe of its unique existence. Just remember, it's not out for your blood, it's just a mesmerizing, one-of-a-kind survivor in the underwater realm. Number 15. Big Red Jellyfish Get ready to meet the jellyfish that's breaking the mold, Tuberonia. This extraordinary genus, belonging to the Ulmaridae family, made waves in the scientific world when its only identified species, Tiberonia granrojo, was discovered in 2003. It was the result of an exciting expedition led by George Mastuomo and his crew from MBARI. The journey began with the collection of fragments of this unique jellyfish's bell margin and arms. These specimens were meticulously analyzed, leading to groundbreaking morphological studies, DNA sequencing, and taxonomic identification. This remarkable find not only unveiled a new species, but also introduced an entirely new subfamily within Ulmaridae, aptly named Tiberoniae. Now you might be wondering how this fish got its peculiar name. Well, it's quite a tale. The genus Tiberonia was named after the crew's ROV, or remotely operated vehicle, called Tiberon, which means shark in Spanish. This ROV's exceptional maneuverability allowed the researchers to observe the jellyfish from all angles, a vital aspect when studying gelatinous pelagic invertebrae. 
Initially, the species was slighted to be called Big Ugly due to its unconventional appearance. However, Kirsten Matsuomo, George Matsuomo's wife, voiced her objections to this less than flattering name. As a result, it was renamed Tiburonia Gran Rojo, meaning Big Red in Spanish, and thus the majestic creature became known as the Big Red Jellyfish. The discovery of Tiburonia not only added a new chapter to our understanding of marine life, but also highlighted the importance of cutting-edge exploration tools like ROVs. Thanks to their exceptional capabilities, we can delve deeper into the study of the enigmatic and delicate organisms that roam the pelagic realms. Number 14. Giant Squid Now I just know you're going to be amazed by this colossal creature of the deep. The Giant Squid, specifically known as Archithiusis dux. This deep ocean-dwelling squid belongs to the family Archithiusidae and showcases an astonishing example of abyssal gigantism. Recent estimates suggest that females can reach a maximum size of around 12 to 13 meters, while males reach about 10 meters in length, measuring from the posterior fins to the tip of their two long tentacles. Now let's put these measurements into perspective. The giant squid's tentacles alone are estimated to be 9 to 10 meters long, surpassing even its colossal squid squid cousin in length. However, despite its impressive size, the giant squid is substantially lighter than the colossal squid because the tentacles make up the majority of its length. The mantle, or the main body, of the giant squid measures around 2 meters in length, with females often having a slightly longer mantle than males. When we consider the squid's entire body, including its head and arms, but excluding the tentacles, it rarely exceeds 5 meters in length. Now you may have heard claims of giant squid specimens measuring a staggering 20 meters or more. However, it's important to note that these claims have not been scientifically documented. While the giant squid is undeniably impressive in size, reaching lengths of up to 13 meters is already an awe-inspiring feat. Number 13. Coffinfish Get ready to meet the mysterious and oddly charming creature known as the coffinfish, or the furry coffinfish. This particular sea dweller, specifically named Chaunax endeavori, belongs to the family Chaunacidae. It can be found in the salty temperate waters of the southwestern Pacific, specifically off the east coast of Australia. The first sighting of the coffinfish took place in February 1997 in Sicily, Italy. It was discovered by the skipper of the Libra, a trawler harbored in Mazara at the time. These captivating creatures can be found in depths ranging from 50 to 300 meters. The coffinfish sports a globose and spiny body, reaching a maximum length of around 22 centimeters in males and unsexed individuals. It's a compact package with a unique set of features. Take a peek inside its mysterious mouth, and you'll notice a black lining that adds a touch of darkness to its appearance, adding to its intrigue and enigmatic allure. The coffinfish is a true gem of the underwater world. Number 12. Giant Isopod these incredible creatures, belonging to the genus Bathynomus, are part of the crustacean family distantly related to shrimp and crabs. They're known as giant isopods and are like the distant cousins of your favorite seafood. You can find these impressive critters in the cold, deep waters of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. They're right at home in the chilly depths, thriving in their own little undersea paradise. Now let's talk about size. The giant isopod species that takes the spotlight is Bathynomus giganteus. It's often considered the largest isopod in the world. This is a creature that can reach gigantic proportions. However, there are other species within the Bathynomus genus, such as B. Kenslei, that may also reach a similar size. They're like a team of heavyweight champions in the isopod world. One fascinating feature of giant isopods is their striking resemblance to a much smaller creature, the common woodlouse, also known as the pill bug. And in fact, despite their difference in size, they're actually distant relatives of these tiny land-dwelling creatures. These mighty creatures, related to shrimps and crabs, have adapted to thrive in the cold, dark depths of the ocean. It's another reminder of the incredible diversity that exists between the waves. Number 11. Stargazer Introducing the Stargazer 
These unique creatures boast top-mounted eyes and a large upward-facing mouth housed within their impressive heads, but that's just the beginning of their fascinating adaptations. Stargazers have a clever hunting strategy. They bury themselves in the sand, waiting for unsuspecting prey to pass overhead. When the moment is right, they swiftly leap upwards, ambushing benthic fish and invertebrae that dare to venture too close. Some species of stargazers even possess a worm-shaped lure that grows from the floor of their mouths. This lure can be wiggled to attract the attention of potential prey. It's like having their very own fishing rod, enticing unsuspecting victims with a captivating dance. In terms of physical features, stargazers sport relatively long dorsal and anal things. Some species lack dorsal spines, adding to their sleek and streamlined appearance. These fins play a crucial role in their movement and maneuverability. Stargazers come in various lengths, ranging from 18 centimeters all the way up to a whopping 90 centimeters. The giant stargazer, known as Cathetostoma gigantium, takes the crown for the largest species. It's a true behemoth in the stargazer realm. Number 10. Chimera Sea Creature these captivating cartilaginous fish belong to the order Chimeriformis, and they go by various informal names such as ghost sharks, ratfish, spookfish, and rabbitfish. But most of the time, we call them Chimeras. Chimeras are enigmatic beings that capture our imagination with their unique characteristics. Their bodies are covered in tough cartilage instead of bones, giving them a distinct appearance. With their elongated bodies and peculiar features, they seem like creatures from a fantastical realm realm, so let's explore their various nicknames. Ghost sharks, as their name suggests, evoke an erythral and mysterious quality. Ratfish and spookfish hint at their unconventional appearance and the sense of intrigue they inspire. Rabbitfish? Well, I don't know about that one. What do you think? Number 9. Basking Shark Get ready to meet the gentle giant of the ocean, the Basking Shark. This magnificent creature, specifically known as Ketorhinus Maximus, holds the title of being the second largest living shark just after the whale shark. It belongs to an elite group of plankton-eating sharks, which includes the whale shark and megamouth shark. Adult basking sharks typically reach impressive lengths of around 7.9 meters. They are usually grayish brown in color, with mottled skin that adds to their distinct appearance. One striking feature is the white color of the inside of their mouth, creating a beautiful contrast. When it comes to their physical structure, basking sharks have a caudal fin with a strong lateral keel, giving them added strength and stability. The fin itself has a distinctive crescent shape, making it easily recognizable. This majestic creature effortlessly glides through the water, leaving a sense of awe in its wake. The basking shark goes by various common names, including bone shark, elephant shark, sailfish, and sunfish. In the Orkney Islands, it is referred to as Home Mother or Homer, which translates to the mother of the pickled dogfish. These names reflect the cultural diversity and regional connections of this remarkable shark. Witnessing this magnificent creature in its natural habitat is an experience that will leave you in awe of the wonders that lie beneath the surface of the sea. Number 8. Dumbo Octopus Next up, the charming and enigmatic Dumbo Octopuses. These extraordinary creatures reside in the deep open ocean, venturing down to depths of at least 4,000 meters and potentially even deeper. In fact, they hold the title of being the deepest living known octopuses, navigating the vast depths where sunlight cannot penetrate. Surviving at such extreme depths comes with its challenges. Dumbo octopuses have adapted to thrive in very cold waters and in complete darkness. They are true masters of the deep sea, gracefully maneuvering through the cold abyss. Naturally, Dumbo octopuses are quite rare, and the deep sea is a vast and expansive realm. To increase their chances of successful reproduction, these unique specimens have developed specialized behaviors. Females always carry eggs in different stages of development, ensuring a constant readiness to reproduce. Additionally, they have the remarkable ability to store sperm for extended periods of time after mating with a male. This allows them to transfer sperm to the most developed eggs whenever the environmental conditions are optimal for reproduction. While Dumbo octopuses spend a significant portion of their lives suspended above the seafloor, they lay their eggs on the bottom. These eggs are carefully attached to rocks or other hard surfaces, providing a safe haven for the next generation. We could all learn a thing or two from these eight-legged parents. 
Number 7. Anglerfish Now we must enter the dark world of anglerfish. These unique creatures belong to the teleost order Lophiformers. What sets them apart is their distinctive method of predation, which gives them their name, anglerfish. Anglerfish have a fascinating adaptation for hunting. They possess a modified luminescent fin ray called the Essa or Elysium, which acts as a lure to attract other fish. This specialized appendage emits light, effectively mesmerizing unsuspecting prey. The luminescence of the anglerfish's lure is made possible by a symbiotic relationship with bacteria. These bacteria are believed to be acquired from seawater and reside in and around the anglerfish. Together, they create the captive glow that entices other fish to their fate. As the anglerfish glides through the depths of the sea, its alluring lure becomes a beacon of light in the darkness. It's a clever strategy for attracting prey and ensuring a successful catch. Number 6. Gulper Eel this is the extraordinary gulper eel, also known as the pelican eel. This deep sea wonder is one of the most peculiar creatures you've ever come across. A creature with a long, narrow body that wiggles and undulates like nobody's business. But don't be fooled by its appearance. The gulper eel might seem like your average eel, but it's far from it. These creatures are part of the Anguilliformis order, which includes around 800 species of eel. That's one heck of a family reunion. You've got your moray eels, garden eels, and of course, the quirky gulper eel. In terms of size, the gulper eel reaches a modest length of around one meter. It might not be breaking any records like its cousin, the European conger eel, which can grow up to a whopping six meters. But hey, the gulper eel doesn't need to be the biggest eel in town to make an impression. These comedic creatures reside in the deep sea, where they can be found far below the ocean surface. It's like their own personal underwater hideout where they can practice their dance moves without an audience. Its snake-like body, unique moves, and deep-sea dwelling habits make it a true oddball of the ocean. Number 5. Barrel Eye Prepare to be spooked and amazed by the extraordinary barrel eyes, also known as the spookfish. These peculiar deep sea creatures belong to the family Opisthroproctid and are found in the mysterious depths of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. Let's look at their intriguing characteristics. Barrel eyes are small argentiniform fish that have adapted to thrive in the deep sea. Their name might give you chills, but these little fish are true wonders of the ocean. Found in tropical to temperate waters, barrel eyes possess unique features that set them apart from other fish. Their most remarkable attribute is their eyes. They have transparent heads with eyes that can rotate and look upwards. It's like they have built-in periscopes. These extraordinary eyes allow barrel eyes to spot potential prey or predators lurking above them in the depths. It's as if they have a secret superpower, giving them an advantage in the deep sea darkness. Barrel eyes also have a slender and streamlined body, allowing them to move gracefully through the water. The barrel eyes are just one of the many remarkable inhabitants that remind us of the strangeness of our vast oceans. Number 4. Grenadier Let's check out some deep sea giants. The Grenadiers, also known as the Rat Tails. These impressive marine fish belong to the subfamily Macrourinae, which is the largest subfamily within the Macrouridae family. With their large brown to black bodies, Grenadiers make quite an impression. Grenadiers can be found at great depths, spanning from the Arctic to the Antarctic regions. These deep sea dwellers are true masters of the abyss, venturing into the mysterious depths that few creatures dare to explore. One striking characteristic of the Macrourinae subfamily is its abundance. Among all the deep sea fish, these grenadiers stand out as some of the most plentiful. They have managed to adapt and thrive in the extreme conditions of the dark sea, carving out a successful niche in their cold and dark domain. Number 3. Blob Sculpin how about the curious and squishy blob sculpin? This small deep water fish is unlike any other. With its unique appearance and peculiar characteristics, it's a true marvel of the ocean. The blob sculpin is known for its incredibly soft and squishy body. It has a minimal amount of bones and muscles, giving it a remarkably flexible form. Despite its squishiness, this carnivorous fish has quite an appetite. Its diet mostly consists of invertebrae such as sea worms, crustaceans, and guests gastropod mollusks. 
When you encounter the blob sculpin at the bottom of the ocean, it may appear more ordinary. It sports a grey coloration with large faces and mouths that allow it to devour its chosen prey. But there's more to its appearance. The blob sculpin is covered in minuscule fleshy threads called Siri, which adds to its peculiar charm. It's like they're wearing a stylish outfit of fleshy threads. Here's where things get interesting. When these fascinating creatures are hauled out of the deep sea, something extraordinary happens. Their grey colour magically transforms into a vibrant pink, and their face structure undergoes changes due to the dramatic difference in pressure. It's like they're putting on a show, revealing their hidden beauty to the world. Interestingly, the blob sculpin bears a resemblance to its close relative, the blobfish. These blob-like creatures share some similarities in appearance, adding to the intrigue surrounding them. Number 2. Blue Ringed Octopus These extraordinary creatures belonging to the genus Hapaloshlena are not your ordinary octopuses. With their vibrant appearance and venomous nature, blue ringed octopuses command attention in tide pools and coral reefs across the Pacific and Indian Oceans, spanning from Japan to Australia. Identifying a blue ringed octopus is not a difficult task. Their yellowish skin is a telltale sign, but it's their characteristic blue and black rings that truly make them stand out. These rings are not just for show, they serve as a warning. When the blue ringed octopus feels threatened, those rings transform into a vivid display of color, sending a clear message to potential predators that they mean business. But let's not forget about their dining preferences. Blue ringed octopuses have a discerning palate and feast on small crustaceans. Whether it's crabs, hermit crabs, shrimp, or other tiny sea creatures, these clever hunters make sure they enjoy a diverse menu. While the blue ringed octopus is an intriguing and visually striking creature, it's important to remember its venomous nature. They possess highly potent venom, making them one of the most venomous creatures in the ocean, so it's best to appreciate them from a safe distance and let them go about their fascinating lives undisturbed. Number 1. Megamouth Shark Let's make our final journey into the mysterious world of the Megamouth Shark. This fascinating deep water creature, scientifically known as Megachasma pelagios, is a true enigma. It holds the distinction of being the smallest of the three filter feeding sharks alongside its larger relatives, the whale shark and the basking shark. Since its discovery in 1976, encounters with the Megamouth shark have been incredibly rare. In fact, fewer than 100 specimens have been observed or caught by humans. This elusive creature prefers to keep its secrets hidden in the depths of the ocean. When it comes to feeding, the Megamouth shark is a true filter feeder. It gracefully swims with its mouth wide open, filtering vast amounts of water for plankton and jellyfish. Its large head, adorned with rubbery lips, sets it apart from other sharks in appearance. In fact, the Megamouth is so unique that it's often considered the sole living species in the family Megachasmidae, although some scientists propose its placement within the family Ketorhinidae. The Megamouth's appearance is distinctive, with a brownish-black coloration on its top and a white underside. Its tail is asymmetrical, with a long upper lobe reminiscent of the thresher shark. Its gill slits are lined up with finger-like gill rakers, which help capture its food. As a relatively poor swimmer, the Megamouth has a soft and flabby body, lacking the caudal keels seen in other sharks. This gentle giant prefers a more leisurely lifestyle compared to its filter-feeding counterparts, the basking shark and the whale shark. With its stout body and wide, bulbous head, the Megamouth is a true marvel of nature. However, much about this intriguing shark remains unknown, shrouding it in further mystery. So keep your eyes peeled for a rare encounter with the Megamouth shark. If you're lucky enough to spot one, you'll witness a creature like no other. Which of these sea creatures do you find the most terrifying? Is it the bone-chilling stare of the anglerfish, or the otherworldly appearance of the blob sculpin? Let us know in the comments below. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. We'll see you next time then, folks. This is Jake the Voice Pass signing off. Thank you very much for watching.